फ्रेंड्स दिस इज विवेक शर्मा असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी इन बियानी ग्रुप ऑफ कॉलेजेज टुडे आई एम हेयर टू प्रेजेंट लेक्चर ऑन एरे इन कंप्यूटर साइंस फर्स्ट वी डिस्कस व्हाट इज द नीड ऑफ एरे इन दिस सिंपल एग्जांपल वी हैव वन वेरिएबल इंटीरियर ए इट्स वैल्यू इज फाइव इफ वी प्रिंट दिज वैल्यू इट विल डिस्प्ले मैसेज फाइव वेन वी स्टोर एंड द वैल्यू देन ए टेन विल वी स्टोर इन साइड ए and it will display message 10 so we can say that each time each time there is one value corresponding to a variable or in other words we can say ordinary variable can store one value at a time this is the major drawback of ordinary variable in the second case so suppose if we store more than one value at a time we will always use array this is a very important concept of array it is used in almost all programming language c c++ java .net according to definition of array it is a collection of homogeneous elements what do you mean by homogeneous it means it is similar type of elements just like integer float or character all elements are stored in sequential memory locations this is the biggest advantage of array all elements are stored in sequential location so it it will very useful in case of the searching suppose if we have to access any elements if we know the base address of address of the first element then we can easily access of any elements then we discuss syntax of array data type array name and number of elements so for example integer a of 5 in this case we have a is the array name which contain five elements which are integer type now we will take a small example of array now we are taking example of array in this type we have a integer type array which contain five elements the value of arrays are 2 4 6 8 10 according to definition all values are stored in sequential memory location now we can discuss memory map of this array the indexing of array always start zero onwards to n minus 1 where n is the number of elements this is the memory map of integer array which store five elements the address of first element a of 0 that is 100 it is also called address of first element and base address base address is the popular term in computer science so we can easily access by using base address any of the element in the entire list we are and we are taking integer variable i its value is 0 now we type here killer screen function which is easily reach all previously output in the memory location now we are printing these five values we start the loop from 0 to n 0 to i less than equal to 5 and i plus plus first value of i is 0 it print a of i means a of 0 the value of a of, a of 0 is 2 slash n takes the control next line then i plus plus now value of i is 1 i less than 5 condition is satisfied now a of 1 that it 4 then i plus plus it again increment value of i is by 1 now i is 2 then a of 2 is 6 similarly 
and 10. So we can easily print elements by using array. Suppose if we want to check address of array elements, we can easily check by using program. So we can easily print address by using format specifier percentage u and m percent operator. m percent operator always gives address of corresponding values. So in case of a of i, a of 0 value is 2 and address is a of 0 that is 100. Similarly, i plus plus it gives 1, then a of 1 it gives 4 and corresponding address of a of 1 is 102. So similarly, it can easily print value and corresponding their address. So we can say that array is very useful to store similar type of elements. Here we are using integer type array. Now we are using float type of array. We are using keyword float. This is a float type array x which store two elements value of first element is 2.4 and value of the second element is 3.6. Similarly, we can also use character array and character array also called string. Here y is a character array which takes three elements first value is a, second x, third y. In this is a co called Array takes memory in compile time or in other words, we can say array is the best example of compile time memory management. What do you mean by compile time? In case of compile time, memory predefined before executing the program. Similarly, suppose we want to take variable from keyboard, we can easily take variables from keyboard by using looping. Now we are taking example. Here we are using two variables. First integer a of 5, it indicates we have an array a of 5 which contains 5 elements and i for continuing looping. Now clear screen function. In this case, first we take input from the keyboard. In this case, we start looping from i assignment 0 so and i less than equal to 5. So we are store 5 elements. First one is a of 0, second one a of 1, a of 2, a of 3 and last one is a of 4. So scanf is generally used to receive value from the keyboard. Suppose you enter value first a of 0. Support 10, then I plus plus, A120, 30, 40, and 50. 
So first we store values or receives value from the keyboard. In the second case, print, we have to print all the values by using for loop. Suppose we have to enter, we have to display all five values. Again, we start looping i assignment 0, i less than 5, i plus plus, print a percentage d a of i. In this case, we can easily get all these five values. So output will be 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. So we can easily store values inside array and we can easily get values from the array. Suppose we have to print only one or two values, then there is no need of looping. In that case, we can only mention printf Here, we are using a subscript by 2, a by 2 and a by 3. So, we are displaying second element that is actually third element and actually four element. So, output will be 30 and 40. This is a major advantage of array. All elements are sequentially stored and we can easily access values from the array. We can easily search a particular element from array and we can already or easily store elements inside array. Now we are using pointers with array. First we discuss pointer. Pointer is a variable which takes address of another variable. Suppose a is a variable and value of age 5 and address of age 10. The syntax of pointer is data type asterisk variable name p variable name. That is integer asterisk p. So here p is a pointer type variable which takes address of another integer variable. Suppose we are using to store address of A. Now address of A will be stored inside P, this type. And address of P is 200. So by using pointer, we can easily print values. Now we can take example. In this case, value of age 5 and value of p is 100 and p takes address of a that is 100. First we are printing value of a, now value of age 5. Now by using pointer we can print value of a, p that is 100 and asterisk p, asterisk p means value operator, value at address, value at 100 location is 5. So we can easily print value by using pointer. In the second lecture, we can discuss pointer and array. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment and share my lecture. Thank you.